what condition is likely if a person's pulse is consistently over 120 beats per minute at rest? Your options are normal health, bradycardia, tachycardia, or hypertension. The correct answer is C that is tachycardia. Consistently elevated pulse rates above 120 beats per minute, especially at rest, can indicate tachycardia, which may require medical evaluation. Question number 26. Where is the temporal pulse located? Your options are in the chest, on the wrist, near the temple, or behind the knee. The correct answer is C that is near the temple. The temporal pulse is located on the side of the forehead near the temples and is sometimes checked in cases of head trauma. Question number 27. How does dehydration affect the pulse? Your options are decreases the pulse, no effect on the pulse, or it increases the pulse, or it causes an irregular pulse. The correct answer is C that is increases the pulse. Dehydration reduces blood volume causing the heart to work harder, which may increase the pulse rate. Question number 28. Which artery is palpated to assess the pulse in the lower leg? Your options are brachial artery, radial artery, dorsalis pedis artery or tibial artery. The correct answer is D that is tibial artery. The posterior tibial artery is located in the lower leg near the ankle and it is used to assess circulation in the feet. Question number 29. What is an irregular pulse that skips beats called as? Your options are bradycardia tachycardia, palpitations, or arrhythmia? The correct answer is D that is arrhythmia. An arrhythmia is a condition in which the heart beats irregularly, often causing the pulse to skip beats. Question number 30. What should be the first step before measuring the pulse? Your options are Clean the patient's arm Ensure the patient's comfortable Wash hands Or check the watch The correct answer is C that is wash hands Washing hands is essential to prevent the spread of infections before touching the patients for pulse assessment. Question number 31. Hello friends, welcome back to Dear Competitive Exam YouTube channel. Today, you are attending 100 most repeated and most important question answer session based on human pulse. And this is the part 2 of the series. I'm sure that you don't want to miss the first part. And the link of the first part is given in the description. So let's challenge your quality of learning. Let's see what will be your score out of 50 from this part 1. So do watch this video completely to make yourself more fit to answer any kind of question. And at the end, if you find this video helpful, then please do like, subscribe and share this video to all your friends who are preparing for upcoming any kinds of medical exams. Let's continue. Question number 31. Which of the following is a pulse site in the foot? 
your options are dorsalis pedis radial artery carotid artery or femoral artery the correct answer is a that is dorsalis pedis the dorsalis pedis pulse is located on the top of the foot and it helps assess blood flow to the lower extremities question number 32 Increased pulse rate during exercise is primarily due to your options are low oxygen demand, increased oxygen demand, decreased blood flow, or increased blood pressure. The correct answer is B that is increased oxygen demand. During exercise, muscles require more oxygen, which cause the heart to pump faster, increasing the pulse rate. Question number 33. Which condition could cause a weak pulse in the legs? Your options are anemia, peripheral artery disease, hypertension, or hyperthyroidism the correct answer is b that is peripheral artery disease peripheral artery disease pad affects blood flow to the limbs often leading a weak or absent pulse in the legs question number 34 what is the clinical term for an unusually strong pulse your options are bounding pulse, thready pulse, bradycardia, or tachycardia. The correct answer is A that is bounding pulse. A bounding pulse is unusually strong and is often associated with high blood pressure or anxiety. Question number 35. Which factor could temporarily lower pulse rate? Two options are anxiety, physical activity, hypothermia, or fever. The correct answer is C, that is hypothermia. Hypothermia or a drop in a body temperature slows down the body's metabolic processes and reducing the pulse rate. Question number 36. Which of the following is an abnormal heart rate during rest? Your options are 75 beats per minute, 85 beats per minute, 60 beats per minute or 110 beats per minute. The correct answer is D that is 110 beats per minute. A heart rate of 110 beats per minute at rest is above the normal range and is considered tachycardia. Question number 37. Which pulse is most commonly used in infants? Your options are carotid brachial, radial, or popliteal? The correct answer is B, that is brachial. The brachial pulse found in the upper arm is typically used in infants because it is easier to access and feel. Question number 38. What happens to the pulse during a fever? Your options are it increases, it decreases, it remains constant or it becomes irregular. The correct answer is A that is it increases. A fever raises body temperature which increases the metabolic rate 
and causing the pulse to speed up. Question number 39. What might an absent pulse in a limb suggest? Your options are normal circulation, blockage in blood vessels, increased oxygen levels or high blood pressure. The correct answer is B that is blockage in blood vessels. An absent pulse in a limb can indicate a serious issue such as blockage or clot in the blood vessels, restricting the blood flow. Question number 40. A thready pulse is typically associated with Your options are High blood volume Low blood volume High oxygen levels or hypertension The correct answer is B that is low blood volume A thready pulse is a weak and faint often a sign of low blood volume or dehydration, requiring urgent care. Question number 41. Which pulse point is found at the top of the foot? Your options are popliteal, dorsalis pedis, femoral or temporal. The correct answer is B that is dorsalis pedis. The dorsalis pedis pulse is located on the top of the foot, often used to check circulation in the lower limbs. Question number 42. Which artery is most commonly used to check the pulse in adults? Your options are carotid artery, radial artery, femoral artery or brachial artery the correct answer is b that is radial artery the radial artery located on the wrist which is commonly used because it is easily accessible and gives an accurate pulse reading question number 43 how does stress impact pulse rate your options are lower it, lowers it, has no effect, raises it or normalizes it. The correct answer is C that is raises it. Stress triggers the release of adrenaline which increases the heart rate and causing the pulse to rise. Question number 44. The pulse that can be felt at the side of the forehead is brachial pulse, femoral pulse, temporal pulse or radial pulse. The correct answer is C that is temporal pulse. The temporal pulse is located on the sides of the forehead, often felt near the temples. Question number 45. Which pulse is the most difficult to palpate? Your options are radial pulse, femoral pulse, popliteal pulse or carotid pulse. The correct answer is C that is popliteal pulse. The popliteal pulse located behind the knee is often harder to palpate due to its deep location behind the knee joint. Question number 46. What effect does deep breathing have on pulse rate? The options are increases pulse rate, decreases pulse rate, no effect on pulse rate or causes irregular pulse. The correct answer is B that is decreases pulse rate. Deep breathing activates the parasympathetic nervous system which helps to slow the heart rate, resulting in a decreased pulse. Question number 47. What is the preferred method to measure pulse in cardiac arrest? 
Your options are radial artery, brachial artery, carotid artery or femoral artery. The correct answer is C that is carotid artery. In cardiac arrest situation, the carotid artery is preferred as it is provides a stronger pulse that is easier to assess during emergencies. Question number 48. A person with a pulse rate of 50 beats per minute is experiencing tachycardia, bradycardia, arrhythmia or normal pulse rate. The correct answer is B that is bradycardia. A pulse rate 50 beats per minute is below the normal range of 60 to 100 beats per minute which is defined as bradycardia. Question number 49. The pulse point used for measuring the pulse in a blood pressure cuff is femoral pulse, radial pulse, brachial pulse or popliteal pulse. The correct answer is C that is brachial pulse. The brachial artery located in the upper arm is commonly used for assessing blood pressure with a cuff. Question number 50. How does the pulse rate change with age? Increases this significantly? Decreases slightly? Remains the same? Or varies wildly? The correct answer is B that is decreases slightly. As people age, their pulse rate tends to decrease slightly due to a slower metabolism and changes in heart function. Friends, it is a time to comment your score out of 25 questions. And friends, thanks for joining us on this exciting journey. If you enjoyed the quiz and learned something new, then give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our upcoming exploration of fascinating topics in the medical field. Until the next time, stay curious, stay healthy. See you. Take care.